Everyone knows that L cancelling reduces the lag of an air attack if you land while doing it. The Peach on the left is using L cancelling and so, her recovery time is half as much. These animations that they are doing are different for each air attack. What full cancelling does is, it replaces those animations with your regular landing animation, meaning you can attack a lot faster. In this side by side by side comparison, the Peach on the left will attack, the Peach on the middle will float cancel, and the Peach on the right will do nothing. Watch their landing animations. How you float cancel is quite easy. You simply attack while floating, then you land. It's just that easy. But to float at such low heights, you need to use a tactic I prefer to call the instant float. It allows Peach to float at any height. How you do that is also quite simple. You press jump, hold jump, and then tap down at the height you wish to float at. It's quite easy. Using it in battle might not be so easy, but then again, neither is L-canceling at first. There's a common misconception about float canceling that it has no lag whatsoever. That's not exactly true. The animation of landing has some lag, because all characters lag when they land, even if they do nothing at all. To truly appreciate that lag, you have to know about frame data. This game runs 60 frames per second, so the frame can be used as a standard unit of time. The animation Peach has when she lands lasts a while, but you can interrupt it, so it amounts to only 4 frames of real lag. Most other characters also have 4 frames. For comparison, here are Peach's air moves, L cancelled. For even more comparison, here are the lag times of some other characters' air attacks when L cancelled. Given the raw frame data, it might seem that flow cancelling is only marginally faster than most of Peach's air moves anyway, which are already among the fastest in the game. But raw frame numbers can be deceiving. They don't take into account falling speed, shield stun, or player skill. Here's something a little more concrete. Peach's forward air is particularly benefited by float cancelling. Its recovery time is one third of what it would be when L cancelled, and on top of that, it provides enough shield stun for you to escape a shield grab. Guaranteed, if you do it right, you cannot get a shield grab. Don't let this fool you into thinking that L cancelling isn't important with Peach. It is important with Peach. It's important with every character. The fact that float cancelling is faster is... well... You can't float cancel every attack, let's face it. L cancelling is a necessary skill to become really, really awesome. Float cancelling is nice for doing combos, though. You can also use float cancelling even when you're holding a throwing item, such as a Pokeball, Lum, or Vegetable. But remember, it takes practice to maximize the full speed advantage of float cancelling. I'm Super Doodle Man, thanks for watching.